All right, I'm going to do a little video on how to design a Rose Profile in Designer. Uh, I need a Rose Profile now to try to get a dark roast in 10 minutes or less, preferably 9 minutes. So I just opened up Designer. There's a lot of extra points on here that I do not need. This one is the end of cooldown. Don't need that. This one is drop. We need that. This one is second crack end. I don't need that. The idea is here I'm just trying to simplify this to try to get the curves as smooth as possible with the minimum amount of milestones. We don't need that. This is first crack end. I don't really need that. So here what I'm left with is charge, dry end, first crack, drop. Uh, I need to add a couple of more points over here so I can get the curve looking right. So we will add a point here, we will add a point here, one more time, we'll add a point there, and we'll add a point there. All right, I'm going to figure, I'm going to, based on my roaster, I'm going to charge this at about 375 degrees, so that point has to go there. My dry end, I'm going to guess, is going to be around four minutes. On my roaster, maybe a little bit north of that. On my roaster, I get dry end at about 295. So the vertical point here is already fixed based on my roaster. What I'm going to be moving is the horizontal axis to make this ROR curve look right. So now I'm going to move first crack. My first crack is also about 370 degrees. So again, the vertical point is fixed. The horizontal point is what I'm going to be moving. I'll put this out. Let's see, I probably have to be around seven minutes. So for the time being, I'll get it right there. And my end of roast, I want to be less than 10 minutes. And I want it to be about, again, on my roaster, is going to have to be about 418, 420 degrees, which I'm guessing is right about there. So now I have a mess, but at least my milestones are are in the right place. What I now need to do is manipulate these two points to get the turnaround point right. Again, my roaster, that's going to be about 170 degrees. And to get a good looking ROR curve. So I'm going to start sliding these points down. I'll slide this one down. All right. Some around 200. Let's see what happens if I move this one down a little bit. I'll have to bring this down a little more. Again, I need to get below 170 degrees here in about a minute and 20 seconds. Again, that's just the way my roaster works. So right about there, give or take. Let me slide this one to the right a little bit. Now I'm a little too low. All right, now we're coming into focus here a little bit. Well, now what I'm trying to do is get a peak ROR somewhere between 50 and 55, I assume I'm going to have to be, and get this curve as straight as possible. That will be my best theoretical roast. So that's not helping, that's not helping. All right. Let's see. If we shorten up the roast a little bit, what happens? Move my first crack time. All right, now we're starting to flatten a little. There we go. We like that. Move this to right or left. No, it's going in the wrong direction. This I'm thinking is a little too high now, so I need to bring that my peak ROR down a little bit. I'm not quite sure how to do that, but let's let's play around and see what happens. There we go. All right, that's pretty good. Now let's move my dry end a little bit one way or the other. See what happens. Oh, 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 we're getting pretty close. All right, so that's about there. 
Now let's see if I extend this out a little bit, if I could flatten out that tail. It does not, so let's move our... There we go. There we go. Uh-huh. We do not want this to go below zero, but if it hits right at zero, that would not be a bad thing. So now we can actually shorten our roast a little bit, get it around nine minutes, which this is an experiment to see if I can get second crack coffee a nice Brazil, a nice Sumatra, hitting second crack in under 10 minutes and still taste reasonable. So that looks pretty good. I could probably manipulate this a little more to flatten that out more. Nope, 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 nope. The other way, the other way. Then there we go. All right, so now I'm going to peak out at about 55 degrees per minute ROR. Dry end in four minutes, first crack in a little over six, and then I'm going to have three minutes and two seconds of development time, 33%. I really don't like that 33% number. Let's see if we could shorten this and see what happens. Let's go even quicker. So now I'm at 2 minutes and 26 seconds development, 28%. Still got a pretty nice curve. Nope, wrong way. That's not helping either. All right. So I think that's pretty good. This is going to be ending somewhere around 14 degrees per minute. So it's going to be screaming when I uh, when I drop this. But hopefully I do hit for hit second crack by the time I get to the end of this profile. So I'm about 175 from my turning point in about a minute 20, give or take. I'm hitting dry end in four minutes. And I'm hitting first crack a little over six. Now if I close designer, I get that. I can then shorten this down to nine minutes. And that is what my roast profile will look like. Now at this point I can add some points here if I want. I could have a first crack end over here. Hopefully I'm hitting second crack start by there and now I can save this we're going to save this as we'll save it on our iCloud drive we'll save it as dark fast here we'll save and now if I go into artisan I can now reset this I can now go into my backgrounds, load, pull up dark fast as the background, and now I have my background parameters set. So now at this point, all I'm going to do is roast some coffee and figure out where my heat settings need to be in order to get to 295 degrees in four minutes, 300, approximately 70 degrees in six minutes and 14 seconds and then drop eight minutes and 37 seconds at 418 degrees so that will be the goal and once i can once i do that and find out what my heat settings are i don't need the designer anymore i will have the actual roast that i could use it as a background all i'm using this for is to find out where my heat settings need to be in order to make this work for my roast and that's it.